I'm Tyson Franklin, and welcome to this week's episode of the Podiatry Legends Podcast. Podcast designed to help you feel, see, and think differently about the podiatry profession. With me today is Cameron Bennett. He has been on the podcast before, back in episode 297, The Benefit of Early Career Wins. However, what we're talking about today is a conference that Cameron has developed called the Aloha Limb Conference. It's going to be in Brisbane on the 2nd and 3rd of November this year, 2024. So if you're listening to this after November 2024, you dipped out. Big mistake. So Cameron, how are you doing today? Tyson, I'm great, mate. Thank you for having me back again. I thought it was fantastic. I heard about this event a couple of months ago. It must have been when you first started to promote it. And I thought, what a bloody great idea to have a conference that is the Lower Limb Conference. And it's not part of the association. It's a purely independent conference. Why did you come up with this idea? Yeah, absolutely. So completely independent. We're just running this ourselves. The big thing was I didn't find the kind of conference experience that I wanted for, from some of these other events that I was going to. And so really the things that we were looking for was an event that's very clinically applicable. We're going to provide skills that people can walk away with and use the next day, but also really the skills that are designed to take that, take your clinician to the next level. Where is the puck heading? Where are the skills that we need to be putting in place now to ensure that we're ready. We're ready to treat. We're ready to uh, embrace the entire scope of what podiatry can be. So we've yeah decided to develop the conference that we wanted. So how did, how did the idea start though? Like obviously you'd gone along to some of the association conferences or other events and I'm not saying to podiatrists don't go to association conference, but sometimes they might be for two or three days they cover a lot of topics, and I know a lot of people will look through the list of topics and go, doesn't apply, doesn't apply, doesn't apply, I'm not in public health. And then when they narrow it all down, there's only a small amount of things that they really want to see or what interests them. So is that sort of part of the reason behind it as well, to make it really yeah, that's specific? It's ex- exactly right. So from my personal experience, I work in private practice, so a lot of the other more public health focused conferences just aren't particularly applicable to me, or at least on a daily basis, I'm not going to use a lot of the information that I get. On top of that, a lot of conference experiences, and this is not to try and knock any of the current experiences, but they are very research-based and research heavy, which look, research, very important, of course, but if your research is for research's sake, then it's not something that I can take with me and present to my patient and help them get a better outcome. Yeah. So while it's fantastic that you've done the research, you've gone down that pathway and it's absolutely something I appreciate, I don't necessarily want to come and listen to the event (laughs) if I can't then take something away from it. So everything that we're trying to do is just, as I say, very clinically focused, just providing those skills that people can use to get their patients better outcomes. Yeah, I do agree. I think we need to have research. But I would love to see this just a research conference and anyone that just wants to sit there and listen to research can sit there all day and just knock themselves out. But I find when you go to a conference and and someone's presenting the research, but there's nothing that I can just go and use it on Monday morning back in the clinic, you go, okay, that was great. But sometimes I haven't ever actually finished the research either. It's still in progress or there is no conclusion because it's got to be applied then clinically. That's exactly right. Give me the Cliff Notes version. Give me the <laughs> the half hour summary that I can take away from all of them would, would be fantastic. But as you say, and I, I, I don't want this to be misconstrued. Like I'm certainly not against any of the current conferences that are out there. I just wanted to offer up another experience for yeah. people and the one that I wanted. And so I couldn't find it anywhere else. So we decided to develop it ourselves. Okay. When I keep saying so, we, yeah. uh, it's just, it's myself as a podiatrist and my partner, she's getting involved to make sure I don't make a fool of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so how many speakers have you got lined up? So we've got 12 speakers lined up at the moment, spread over two days over a range of different topics. Uh, the We'll have both presentations and workshops as well. So the idea being that the information can get delivered in a presentation format and then if that's something that you're particularly interested in or a topic that you want to explore further you can go and engage in those workshops as well so things like point of care ultrasound something that i've been using quite a lot in my own clinic and 
It's certainly a topic of discussion amongst a lot of podiatrists, but perhaps you don't want to go down the pathway of investing in a couple of day course, investing in the equipment to actually do point of care ultrasound without this taste, this little teaser. So we'll yeah. present the information. You can get hands-on in a workshop. Is this something that you want to explore further? If it is, fantastic. Book in for the course. We'll have the reps there. We have the people that you can start to engage with to be able to upskill yourself as, as quickly as possible. Okay. So somebody will come out, do a presentation on a particular subject or topic. You'll sit there, listen to that. If you go, wow, that is awesome. I want to apply that in my clinic. Then there'll be reps with that equipment there as well that you can then talk to afterwards. Yeah. So a uh, combination. So there's reps. So taking the ultrasound example, the reps will be there which is fantastic. So they can get you hands-on using the equipment as well. But also the presenter, James Ferry, he's going to be running workshops. So for a more hands-on component to it, he'll do his presentation, run you through the theory, run through some case studies, and then going across over to yeah, getting hands-on, ensuring that you can get the ultrasound probe in your hand, you can identify some structures and just see how this might be useful in your everyday practice. Okay, so who else, what, what other subjects are you talking on? We have a whole range. So yeah, point of care ultrasound is the first one. James is also presenting on shockwave therapy. So we have the guys from EMS. Yep. They're going to be there for shockwave therapy and it's it's a use in sort of chronic pain management. We have Craig Wanless coming along to talk through injection therapy. So prolotherapy and the way that he's using that in his clinic. We have Talisha Reeve. She's coming along. Uh, with a couple of different presentations again. So very fortunate we've got her discussing ankle instability and also the way that she's incorporating VALD, the host, <laughs> incorporating their technologies into her treatments. So using their tech for quantifying data, quantifying patient outcomes to achieve better results. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be uh, a lot had- of them conference without Talisha being there. That's exactly right. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's prolific. We need to ensure that she's part of it. And the venue is going to be at the Veld venue in Brisbane. Yeah, so Veld headquarters, absolutely. So they have an enormous space. They've got uh, a huge auditorium space, big projector screens, everything set up, ready to go. We can use their equipment. We can get everything from the dynamometers to the analysis software and just looking through everything that Veld have to offer in the ways that you might be able to yeah incorporate that into your clinic that's pretty cool so who okay who else is speaking so going down a slightly different pathway we have josh truscott coming along in conjunction with curacorn so curacorn a company out of the uk utilizing injectable therapies to you know replace these diminished fat pad areas and and these areas this is their australian launch they're going to be signing up people to run training courses based on um those people that want to engage with them at the conference. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Oz, Zan Amir, coming yeah. along uh, with some p uh, tips and tricks. Steve Collins, he's a, a SNC physiotherapist. He's jumping in to discuss some SNC concepts, cueing, and the way that kind of our language can be really beneficial or detrimental in the way that we're uh, coaching our patients through some, some rehab. Gosh, who else do we have? We have John O'Steedman. He's a registered dietitian coming to discuss REDS. Beck Brown, she's an exercise physiologist, was associated with Queensland Ballet for quite some time, as well as being a dancer herself, coming along to talk through pre-point assessments and point shoes okay. and some of these different kind of avenues that podiatrists can specialize into. Um, we've also got Sam Turner. Many of you might have seen him on Instagram, the football podiatrist. He's coming up to discuss technologies that we can be using for our greater assessments and orthotic prescription for footballers yep. uh, or people in football boots. Jared McGuinness, he's coming along again, discussing Valid. So he just did a presentation at SEPA not long ago up at Noosa. So he's presenting a similar sort of one, discussing some case studies in the way that they've used Valid technology. But we've also got the CEO of Heidi. So I don't know if you've seen much about Heidi, Heidi AI. They're a note-taking software. They're fantastic. I've been using it in clinic myself. You just have your discussion, have your consultation, and they securely store it, pull the relevant information out of it, and write your notes up there for you. So they've got note templates, letter templates, all of this kind of stuff. So we're really fortunate enough to have the CEO, Tom. He's coming out to discuss it all things Heidi and the way that it can be impl- implemented into the into your clinic and 
it's going to be great. And then we have sponsors as well. The list keeps going. So with your sponsors, how many, uh, who are the sponsors? Give them, give them a shout out. Even though none of them, I'll point it to people, none of the sponsors or nobody that's mentioned here has paid to be mentioned on this podcast. I don't have any sponsors on this podcast. This is just us having a conversation about the Lola Limb Conference because I thought it was a great idea. So who who's sponsoring it? But if a sponsor is listening to this and you want to sponsor the podcast, by all means, reach out to me. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, get the exposure. No, we're, we're really fortunate. We've had a, a whole heap of fantastic companies uh, wanting to get involved. So we've got Vowed, obviously. So they're hosting us, generously allowed us to, to use their venue there, which is absolutely fantastic. As I said, the space is just perfect for this kind of event. Paramed, the orthotic company, they're on board. So if you need anything orthotics related, definitely yeah. have a chat to them. Uh, Curacorn coming along to present. We've got P3 from Talisha, Ultimate Podiatrist with Josh Truscott, Brooks. So Brooks are getting involved in the conference and they're giving away some shoes for us or they provided us some shoes to give away. Oh, so Everyone uh, get a free pair or they're, they're too tight to do that? Well, they're not a sponsor of my podcast, so I can say what I want. <laughs> uh, not quite. Not quite. Everyone gets a free pair, unfortunately. But if you head over to our socials, there is a competition running right now. If you want to get yeah. involved to potentially win yourself a free pair of Brooks just for coming along to the conference, which would be amazing. We've also got Clarius. So, you know, as I mentioned before, they're getting involved. They're going to have a whole heap of handheld units there for us to use to ensure awesome. that it's the okay, right. Okay, so they'll have ones there that people can actually use and test it all out. Because I've yeah, got a couple yeah. of, I've got a couple of coaching clients that actually have bought the Clarius system. And they've only had it in the early stages, but uh, they love it. I think it's fun. Yeah, but they're fantastic. I use one in clinic myself. So yeah, they're bringing along a whole heap of handheld units so you can test them out. You can have a bit of a play, see how they feel in the hand, make sure that it's the right tech for you. Yeah. EMS, Dollar Class, the Shockwaves, they're coming along and sponsoring. They're going to have a couple of units there to trial as well. Again, as someone that uses a dollar class in my clinic, it's chalk and cheese compared to every other unit that I've used in the past. So come along, get hands on, discover why this this might be a, a bit of a different one. So especially people who maybe have trialed Shockwave in the past and didn't find that it was as good of a treatment option as they might have expected. Dollar class units are fantastic. So, And speaking with a couple of other potential sponsors as well, the whole po point of these sponsors is I just want to get the best experience yeah. possible for our delegates. If that's getting them hands-on with the tech that they want, if that's being able to provide giveaways and these sort of things, running the best networking event we possibly can, whatever it might be, these sponsors are getting involved to ensure that this event's going to be a success and we're super grateful. As well as being grateful to the Podiatry Legends podcast as well. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I know. Well, that was the thing because um, when I heard you were doing this, I, that's why I reached out to you. You didn't reach out to me. And I said, oh, do you want to come on the podcast, talk about this event? And in return, can you put Podiatry Legends Podcast as a sponsor? And this this is something that like, I love collaborations between different people. If, if I can help you out, promote the conference, and you can help promote the podcast, then to me, it's win-win for everybody. Absolutely. No, it's it's great. We We love the opportunity to get this kind of exposure. We are, we don't have the reach of some of these other big conferences, so... We're, everything that we're doing, we're, we're building. This is our first ever time doing it. So hopefully only only going to continue to grow from here as well. But no, we really appreciate being able to share what we're doing with your audience. And yeah, in return, hopefully um, put a few more people across there to listen. Yeah, and I'll point it to people overseas, if you're listening to this, Brisbane in November is a freaking great time to actually visit. It is, I did my live reboot november last year i think it was in brisbane and we were just saying how good is the weather here this time of year like during winter it's too cold for me because i'm up north <laughs> but november is absolutely fantastic and it's not overly hot then either so have you had any registrations yet from new zealand or anywhere else overseas we have so we've got a couple from the uk we've got a couple from new zealand a couple from singapore coming across so we're, we're truly international. We're looking forward to welcoming as many people across here as possible. Interestingly, we've had just heaps from across Australia. So yeah. pretty much every state and territory so far, everyone traveling up to Brizzy. So really looking forward to that. We have also, you know, more 
I guess, logistics of the event, organized accommodation for people with uh, discount codes. So if you are looking to travel across, definitely get in touch. We have some relationships with some of the closer hotels to the venue there just to get you that little discount and make sure that you can just enjoy the event as much as you possibly can uh, have. It's going to be fun. You already know that I can't be there, <laughs> which is Unfortunately. a... Oh, when you told me the dates and I said, to you, oh, I would love to be there, but I'm actually going to be in Las Vegas. And I know everyone hearing that is feeling terribly sorry for me because they go, oh, you're going to be in Vegas. But I will be at the Business Black Ops event that I usually go to every October and then I'm hanging around for an extra week's holiday. But while I'm on that subject... Everyone that listens to the podcast may have already noticed that I've been promoting an event that Dave Freeze is going to be running in Cairns on the 24th of August this year called The Power of Persuasion. It will teach you, and if you have your team come along as well, teach them how to communicate better with your patients and have them follow the treatment plans that you actually put in front of them. I tell you, it's a one-day event you should not miss if you are free on the 24th of August. Go to my website tysonfranklin.com, click on events, and you'll see all the information there. But Cameron, what website should people go to to find out more information about the Lower Limb Conference? Yeah, definitely. So the website, tllc.net.au. Take a look at our website. All our sponsors are on there. All our speakers are on there. All the event information's on there. Take a bit of a look at that. We're also on socials, the Lower Limb Conference on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm sorry to everyone that follows me on LinkedIn. They've obviously been seeing me just blast out so much information about this recently. I can't wait. I think this event's going to be a lot of fun, as well as providing an event that just gives like a really good learning experience to people. We we want it to be fun. We want this to be yeah. a really great weekend. But you're coming away. The information you're going to take away is going to be very useful in clinic. And the thing you're going to remember in 10 years time is how much fun you had at this event, the people that you met, the networking that you uh, were able to do. And so we're trying to facilitate that. So we're yeah. uh, running a great networking event on the Saturday night, details to come, all included in ticket price. Oh, so how, much one- are, how much are the tickets? Well, Tyson, I'm glad you asked me. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I know well, people are sitting there going, oh, well, how much is all? It all sounds too good. <laughs> so uh, there's so full ticket price, two day conference, networking events, everything all included as five nine nine AUD. Depending on when you're listening to this, if you're listening in the next couple of weeks, we do have some uh, for fifteen percent discount. So yeah. if you jump onto our Instagram or our Facebook, you'll see those codes there. Whatever presenter you're most looking forward to, using their name number fifteen. So if you can't wait to see James Ferry present. James 15. Uh, if it's Talisha that you're after, Talisha 15. And I'll just jump in here and let you know that you can also use the promo code Tyson15. So if you've enjoyed this episode so far, you've decided to go to the Lower Limb Conference because of this episode, please use the promo code Tyson15 and that'll let Cameron know that you found out about the Lower Limb Conference through the Podiatry Legends podcast. Okay, let's get back onto this interview. I'm a little bit envious <laughs> that I'm not going to be there, especially when I know this is probably going to be an annual event. Like this one, well, we're already talking off air. You already told me how many tickets you've sold. So this thing yeah, is pretty much three quarters sold out already. So even if yeah. nobody else books in, the thing's going ahead. So it's not one of those ones, because I know some people sit on the fence, sometimes thinking, oh, do I really want to book my airfares and my accommodation? What if it doesn't go ahead? This thing yeah. is going ahead regardless. It's, there's enough tickets sold already that it, it's, That's it's it. happening. Yep. So I'm really envious I'm not going to be at the first one because this will be something that I can see in 10, 15 years' time where people go, oh, remember the first one? I and hope so. There will be 100 or so people that go, yeah, I was at that one and and I'll be the one in 15 years' time going, ah, oh, I missed the first one. I was in Vegas. Yeah, but I did <laughs> I did have him on the podcast in the lead up to it. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's- I'll be on ep- <laughs> episode 3000 or something by then. Exactly. Exactly. No, it's yeah. We're, we're su- super excited. Like the response from the podiatry community, podiatry and physio community. In fact, yeah. so that's a that's a point I haven't even touched on. This is the lower limb conference. So this is for anyone who has an interest in treating patients with lower limb concerns. We've got exercise physiologists signed up. We've got physios signed up. We've got many podiatrists signing up. It's 
the information that you're going to gather from this, maybe it's not that every single presentation is going to be super applicable to your practice, but if that's the case, perhaps a workshop's on at that time that's the, mm. the exact thing that you want to hear. And that's the way that we've tried to organize this event so that people can get involved with whatever they want to get involved with. And as I say, that it take that information, take those skills, and if not apply it straight away on Monday morning, at least know that is something they want to investigate further, that they want to go and do their point of care ultrasound course, that they want to pro, um, have a bit of a closer look into prolotherapy or whatever it might be. We can't wait. We're, I'm so excited. <laughs> what, what I'm looking forward to, like these type of conferences, is you can look through everything and I might say, okay, I'm not really, you know, the cure call and stuff. I'm like, I'm not really interested in that. I don't have to, I don't have to watch that. I can sleep in or go and have a coffee with somebody else who may not be interested in that particular subject. Yep. There's enough things that you can pick and choose, even if it's two or three things. And for how much a ticket price is, if you apply that back in your clinic, and, yeah, and in my book, I always mention yeah, the orthotic economy. It's like one pair of orthotics to attend a two day event. If you can't afford that, then you've got to change how, you, how you're doing business, I think. And if you yeah. really want to go, talk to your employer about, hey, send me along to this so I can bring those skills back into the clinic. We're trying to build the value in there as much as possible, of course, but also I understand that some conference events, especially multiple day conference events, can be really expensive. Yeah. And so... We want to strike that balance, maximum value for as reasonable as we as we can possibly run an event of this kind of caliber. So we are all about just trying to progress the profession. The skills that we want to have in there are the skills that we think that clinicians should have. If podiatrists aren't seeking to extend themselves and seeking to extend their scope, we're going to be relics. It's ridiculous. You can't just sit there and clip toenails forever. We need no. to be embracing this technology. We need to be embracing these sort of techniques to ensure that we are the the leaders in lower limb. Or physios, come get us. Let's go. Uh, come along to the conference. Come learn oh. these skills. Take that away. Um, it's I saw, I saw a post in the UK podiatry Facebook group the other day. It was somebody applied to the bank to get something. And they said they couldn't get the loan because they wrote down podiatrists as a profession, but that profession wasn't listed with the bank as a real profession. It's, it's terrifying, isn't it? It's so and sad. I, I just shake my head thinking, what are they doing over there? What, what are they not doing over there to promote the profession? And I think yep. this is where I think Australia, the US and some other countries have really elevated what podiatrists do. And not saying that Routine foot care is not important. I'm saying that home visits isn't important or high-risk feet aren't important, but the profession has to move move on from there yep. and sort of just embrace other technologies. And that's what this conference, I think, is going to do. That's the goal. That's the goal is just introduce these skills. Maybe it's something you've been thinking about. Maybe it's something you've been hearing about, but you haven't been ready to pull the trigger on it. Come along to this event. Get the information you need engage with the presenters engage with the people that can teach you engage with the suppliers of the equipment get yourself just upskill make sure that you are ready otherwise other clinics will and you'll get left behind yeah so this would be is there a student discount or anything like that if students want to go to it just charge them full price yeah if they really if they want to go there's a 15 percent discount if they use a name that's exactly right. So there's no official student discount at the moment. However, we are looking for a couple of students if they want to get involved just with you know, signing people in on the day, just wanting to, uh, you know, snag a ticket for helping out over the weekend. So just seeing how the event runs, getting to listen to presentations and just being involved, but perhaps meeting your employer, the person that yeah. you're going to go work with next year or whatever it might be. So if you're a student and you are interested in coming along, reach out. What's yeah. the best, what's, if somebody wants to reach out and contact you, what's the best way to, to do that? Absolutely. So uh, if you, Cameron Bennett on LinkedIn, you can always get me through there. Alternatively, the Lower Limb Conference on both Facebook and Instagram, uh, shoot us a message through there and I'd love to have a chat. Yeah, last year we had, when Jonathan Small came over, we did the Work Smarter Not Harder program in July. Then I did my reboot in November, both in Brisbane. And we had a student that contacted Ollie. me and said, oh, yeah, Ollie. Yeah, you yeah. met Ollie. 
Yeah. And, yeah. It's, yeah. Ollie got so many job offers over the Work Smart Not Harder program, and then he came back and he said, would the reboot be worthwhile for me? I went, hell yeah. I said, because what you learned there as a student, I said, will make you such a valuable employee. Yep. You'll use those skills through your whole career. So I think any student listening to this, I'm not saying that do the future reboot, but coming along to a, the Lower Limb Conference is a great way to learn information they're not teaching you at uni, probably. And you're going to be in a room full of another 100 potential employers. And to me, and that just shows that you're keen to learn. And we, we mentioned it before I press record. But some people say, oh, yeah, I've got to get my CPD hours up. And I said, if you're only doing the minimum CPD hours, I won't say exactly what I called them. To me, that is just, it's almost embarrassing if you're only doing the minimum. You should be just exceeding that by, by a mile. Absolutely. But if you are someone who's just trying to tick off those hours, you will get 10 hours of category one CPD for attending the conference, which is the max that you can get out of that, that category. So it's worth it. It's worth it from a CPD perspective. It's worth it from uh, a networking perspective. It's absolutely yeah. worth it from a skills acquisition perspective. You, The number of people that we've had sign up, the caliber of podiatrist, of physiotherapist, of clinician that have already signed up to this event, even just the people that you will meet that makes two point. days worth it. But it makes two days worth it. On top of that, you get to learn about these new skills. On top of that, it's a small group environment where you can interact with the presenters. You can ask the questions that you want to ask. You can run the workshops. You can speak to the, the, the sponsors and the exhibitors there. The amount of value that we're trying to cram into two days, it, I just want to exceed anything that's been done and make this the best event Make this the event that people mark in their calendar for next year. So uh, yeah. we're, we're looking forward to it. But that's a really good point that you said that the, pe the caliber of podiatrists have already signed up. You know that if you're on the fence at the moment and you're thinking about going, just realize the people that are going to be there are going to be the podiatrists that are up here. Because a that's lot it. of the really, I don't want to be rude to anybody, but there are some average podiatrists in our profession. Yep. And they're in these beige little clinics that have never progressed, have not changed in 20 years, and they have no intentions on changing. So you know that they're not going to be there. It's only yep. going to be the podiatrists that are wanting to actually move the profession forward. They're the ones that actually listen to this podcast, not the ones who bag this podcast, because there's a few podiatrists there. The ones that bag the podcast are usually the ones who have the beige little clinics. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's self-selecting, right? It's like evolution. It's Darwin's theory of evolution. This is it. You want to be the best clinician you can possibly be. You're going to an event like the Lower Limb Conference, and that's why we're marketing it as such. This is the event for the people who want to take their practice to the next level. This isn't for the person that wants to turn up, bang on the dot when they start, leave at 5 p.m. in the afternoon, provide yeah. a bare minimum service. This is for the podiatrist or the, the clinician who wants to provide the highest level of care to their patients, who wants to be the one that's known in their community as the industry leader. These are the kind of people we want at the event. And not only is that great for for us because we get to hang out with those people and we get to provide a really good event, but it's great for everyone else that's there because they all get to engage with each other and develop friendships and, and discuss things related to podiatry or, or related to lower limb treatment. So yeah, we're really grateful to the, the people that have already bought tickets, to the people that have already signed up and, and we can't wait. We just, we're looking forward to providing you with the best experience we possibly can. Yeah, well, I can see this, like I said before, 10, 15 years time, it'll be this type of conference that people will be lining up trying to get tickets to because it's not going to be one of those ones where eventually it's going to be a thousand people. It's always going to be a smaller group, but it, it'll be those podiatrists that go back year after year that are the ones that it, you'll hear about in the next five or 10 years in the profession that are doing amazing things. That's it. It's just doing cool stuff, right? Just podiatry, allied health, our scope is so broad. We can do so many cool things. Why are we limiting ourselves to boring stuff? Come mm. learn the cool stuff. Come engage with the people that can teach you the cool stuff. There's things, speaking to people like James, speaking to people like Talisha, there's things that I didn't even know that we could do. <laughs> like as a <laughs> podiatrist, I'm like, am I allowed to do that? Like I didn't even realize that with that. This is something that is within our scope, and yet it is. 
but we're not taught this stuff. We're not taught this stuff at uni. We're not taught this stuff by our employer who perhaps doesn't know it either. Mm. Come to these events, learn these things, increase your scope, just be better. Yeah. And that's not a bloat on the universities either. That they can only teach so much during your course. And when you're doing placements, you can only learn so much depending on where you actually have a placement. However, the more podiatrists go along to this event, the more that then use that technology in their clinic, then the more the students will be exposed to it and that will become the norm. That's what everyone will just expect. That's exactly right. Okay, so one last time, give us the website, contact details and everything else people need to know before we wrap up. Definitely. Website, tllc.net.au. Jump on, book your tickets. They are selling quickly, as we mentioned before. We're over three quarters sold, which is astounding. Get in, get involved. Reach out on Instagram or Facebook, the Lower Limb Conference. You'll be able to find any discount codes that are currently available on there. Jumping on now, find your favorite presenter, put their name, the number 15 at checkout on the website. Score yourself 15% off your ticket price. Or if you just want to have a chat to me, ask me some questions about the conference. You're not quite sure yet. Reach out on LinkedIn. Always more than happy to have a chat. But yeah, we're, we're excited. We can't wait. We think this event's going to be awesome. Unfortunately, we can't have you there, Tyson. But yeah, um, no. we really appreciate you getting involved, mate. We really appreciate And the more we're uh, talking about it, the more, the more envious I'm going, damn it. But <laughs> next I, year, will, next I, will, year. I will rough it in Vegas and I'll, I'll be thinking about you while I'm there. Hanging out in Briz Vegas. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> From one Vegas to another. So, Cameron, I want to thank you for coming on here, talking about the Lower Limb Conference. And, yeah, I'm hoping it's a complete sellout for you. And everyone has a good time. And then probably get you back on after it just to get feedback on how it all went and what you learnt from the conference and then what you probably got prepared for the next year would be great as a follow-up. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, keen for a recap. As I said, we'll, we'll run through those cliff notes. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you again for having me on, Tyson. Uh, no, always been great, great to chat, mate. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode with Cameron Bennett learning about the Lower Limb Conference, which will be held on the 2nd and 3rd of November 2024 in Brisbane. I'll tell you, it is going to be an amazing event. And remember, you can use the promo code TYSON15 to let Cameron know that you heard about the Lower Limb Conference on this podcast, or it was this episode that helped you make a decision to attend. And one last thing before I finish up, if you're enjoying this podcast in general, please tell your podiatry friends and consider leaving a rating and review on whatever podcast platform you happen to be listening to. Okay, that's it for me this week. I want you to look after yourself, look after your family, and I will talk again next week. Bye for now.